Hi, I'm Nyla Gilliam and I'm back with another um, episode of Real Talk and today I want to talk to you about the winter solstice. Uh, it is December 18th and we are approximately three days away from the winter solstice, um, December 21st through um, approximately December 25th is win winter solstice and it is the perfect time between the 21st and the 25th to um, make your New Year's resolutions. Um, I know we have traditionally been taught and encouraged to um, get down on our knees and make sure that we're praying at 11:59 um, uh, p.m. on um, December 31st, so that on um, January 1st, all of those prayers and, and, and resolutions that we made um, will come to pass, and we'll have a wonderful year. But for um, the vast majority of us, that's not what happens. And I would venture to say that the reason why it's not what happens is because perhaps we are making our requests known, so to speak, uh, about six days late. Uh, we should have done that uh, between the 21st and the and the 25th. Uh, traditionally, um, the winter solstice is what was uh, actually um, was celebrated. Christmas came in as a result of the uh, Romans' uh, attempt to uh, bring the populace, the, the majority of the people, on their side, and so they took a, a, a festival or a celebration that the people were already accustomed to, which was called Saturnalia, and they married it to Christianity. Um, the date of December 25th has always been the date um, when for the birth of the new sun, and the sun is S-U-N, because uh, if you would observe the, the, the seasons, you will realize that um, somewhere after the 25th of December, you start to see the days um, becoming a little bit longer to the extent that there's a little bit more light, a little bit more daylight gradually until we have those days when, you know, 7 o'clock, it, it may still be light outside. Now it gets dark at about 4, 430. And that's because we are moving towards the solstice. The solstice is a combination of two words, sol, S-O-L, and sis, uh, which is to steer, S-I-S-T-E-R-E, is where it comes from, and it really, it literally means sun, soul, um, standing still, or sun stand still. So it means a, a, a time um, when the the sun appears. It doesn't actually stop moving, but it appears to stand still, and it is also a time when um, those prayers, those energies, are are right for let's say magic for things to happen, for um, the the uh, things to come together. In your favor so um, instead of waiting until December 31st which is what we are traditionally uh, doing and then being frustrated all year I'm just you know suggesting to you that you would try the um, pro approach of having the attitude of gratitude right now as a matter of fact you need to um, think in terms of now you know get your attitude in check and and be grateful be thankful um, you know, don't lament over the fact that you don't have enough funds or enough uh, finances, but be thankful that all your needs are met, that you have everything. You have the if the wherewithal, the ability to um, live comfortably and successfully and see yourself where you want to be and begin to speak positively about uh, what you want to happen in your life. You know, don't, you know, lament about your weight like myself and others do. Just be thankful and grateful that um, you are healthy and that in the year to come, you are, you know that you are going to be in perfect alignment with, with body, soul, and spirit and mind. And everything is going to line up with you. You know, that your weight is going to be correct. That your health is going to be correct. That your thinking is going to be correct. All those things, even if you know issues with how you deal with other people, that you're not going to let people allow people in 2014 uh, to pull you off your square, so to speak. So instead of saying um, things like "I don't want," you know, or "I'm not going to let so and so or such and such get the best of me in 2014," just talk about the good things that 
you're expecting or knowing or believing for to happen instead of putting in the energizing or, or interjecting rather the negative just try to be as positive as you can during this period now this period between um, now and the 25th of December just be positive I mean just think positive just speak positive just see all the things that you really want to happen happen and begin to speak in the in the as if it's in the now because all you really have is now anyway it, it just you know the future is not ours to 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 even um do anything with so in your now see yourself as you believe or, or wishing or hoping or praying or whatever you do to be but don't wait until december 31st to do it there is a window of opportunity that we have been missing because I don't know whether it's a deliberate uh, attempt to um, move us away from what works because it might empower us if we knew that we should really be um, our December 31st should really happen to December 21st through 25th and that's when you know things happen that's when things you know become uh, solidified that's when that window of opportunity you know is open and it's closing 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 and you don't want to wait until it's closed, December 31st, it will will have already been closed for six days, I hate to say. And that's why we have not traditionally been able to keep those darn resolutions because we're going after it at the wrong time. So um, I encourage you to um, look into the solstice. And even if you, if you, you know, think it's pagan or you don't want to do it for reasons that may seem... Uh, against your grain of your religious you know belief then just start now being thankful and grateful for what you have and just keep doing it from now until December 31st but don't wait until December 31st I promise you that you are going to be a day late and a dollar short and you're not going to get what it is that you are believing for you might as well just not make a resolution because um what does it hurt? What will it hurt if you will start being grateful and thankful now? If you will start seeing and, and, and believing for those things now instead of waiting, you know, until the 31st of December. Just do it now. Just keep doing it. Doing it do it every day. Wake up in the morning and look at yourself in the mirror and, and, and see yourself as you want to be. And having what you want to have. Feeling like you want to feel. You know, driving what you want to drive. Speaking like you want to speak. You know at a level that you want to be at and let that be you know what guides your day and so in that way no one will be able to take you off the square and you will be positive and positivity you know attracts more positivity so you know you can just go through anything whether any storm when your mind and your body and your soul is in line and let's practice doing what we need to do at the right time there's nothing like divine timing and I believe it's divine timing for me to drop this little nugget of information on you so that you can be prepared in 2014 and not frustrated so for real talk this is Nyla Gilliam saying have a wonderfully prosperous new year and let your new year begin right now I shall